Hello there. This is Rom Wills with Miss Smoker Angel. Hey y'all. Hey. Insecure review, low key losing it. Mm -hmm. What were your first thoughts, dear? Everybody was losing it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, just slightly, kind of like, uh, having problems in the world. Yeah, it was interesting how it started out because Issa's in the middle of doing some work for this party and, you know, they threw a little uh, comedy because, you know, Trina and her bad her bad son had to show up with the rest of the neighbors because apparently right. Issa's been working so hard on this project, she ain't doing what she's actually paid to do, which is be a manager at that place. Correct. So that's that's a, that's a, that's a well, it's, it's more funny than anything. But it kind of set the theme for the show, which is two women just working on their stuff, especially right. Molly, especially, especially Molly. Now, that's that's the deeper part. What, what were your thoughts? Uh, so, you know what I thought was the most interesting line in the whole episode was when she said, when her and Andrew were having the, the, the argument, well, you know, the disagreement. And she said, I'm sorry, I've never made it this far in a relationship. Mm. That was the mm. most interesting thing I heard. And I thought, you poor thing. This is as far as you've gotten with a dude? Come on now. That's sad. Well, let's start off with Molly, because that was the thing. I mean, she was working hard. I mean, dude came over there. Mm -hmm. He They in bed ready to get started, and he on top kissing her and stuff, doing his foreplay, and she's still going over her job in her mind. And... It was just like work, work, work. work. I mean, that yeah. was like the whole theme. It, and that was like, if you look at Molly overall, mm -hmm. when she dealt with men, they were always flinks. Her job right. was the main thing. Right. Her job was always the main thing. Oh, I got to do this work. I got to do this work. Now, all mm -hmm. of a sudden, you get a guy you can be serious with, and you only had time for him. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you working so hard, and then, you know, dude, dude to sleep. She had to kind of wake him up. Mm-hmm. You know, and then it was interesting uh, later on at the uh, close to the end, they finally go out to like on a date. Right. And, you know, Molly got all these plans. Dude say, well, I was going to play poker. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this boy. Yep. And, you know, that was that was that was interesting because he was just like, well, you know, you don't seem like you're available. And, it, it, yeah. and you know, it just kind of really hit her. And then that's when it came to that scene that you like, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that that was uh, something I think a lot of women go through because even uh, you know when she was at the law firm with the other women, and it was interesting that session they had that office thing. You know how you know how ladies do on those corporate jobs. You got the young boy there, and they saying some ways, ain't dating Abigail. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was like I thought he was dating like a Becky. Is that that's like Becky, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing I got. I think it's now Abigail, oh, okay. whatever. But it was like, it was the same, you know, same thing. And they were talking about them. But then, you know, they still, you know, despite their families, they at work. And that's a lot of women can identify with that. A whole lot of professional women can identify they working so hard, but they can't get a relationship. Right. And, you know, it's, uh, if you look at, uh, particularly in the black community, the women who are saying, oh, I can't meet that guy. Shoot, they working all the time. All the time. That's true. You know, so that was that was mm -hmm. that was interesting to bring that in there. And mm -hmm. then, you know, Issa was doing the same thing, but on her own thing, you know? Right. And, you know, That's talking cool. to herself in the mirror and the mirror is having his own conversation. <laughs> that was funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah, the yeah, mirror had a mind of its own. Yeah, so you know, that's one thing though. It's like they still she's still trying to get that comedy in there, but you only take it like mm -hmm. the series is like mildly comic. Because right. so all the stuff in there is like uh, you know, uh you know, serious, real life. Yeah. Now you know, but one of the things is right, that the whole thing with Issa and Molly. So we one month before the party mm -hmm. and we still we seeing more and more of that tension right it's about to boil over pretty soon if not at the black party probably like right after it Definitely. yeah yeah i can see that i mean they starting off like they're going over Derek and tiffany's with mm -hmm. uh 
you know, to go see the baby and everything. Right. And we'll, we'll, we'll suspend disbelief because for a baby just born, that's a big kid. <laughs> Oh my God, I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, that's a big ass baby, but okay. <laughs> now we'll, we'll just skip over that. They, you know, that's how they do anyway, but you know. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, we're we, we going we, we to break through that fourth wall and stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But then, um, you know, and it's, st it's still that little, it's still like all that stuff, even when they in there with uh, Tiffany and Kelly, because then when they split apart, then mm -hmm. he's going to talk to Tiffany and say, hey, do you seem something up? And he's right. going to talk right. with uh, Kelly, hey, you see something is up? And right. you know, that's interesting. And Tiffany, she's like a chilled out mom. She gave me the impression she'd be that mom that won't spend that much time with baby. Just she's sitting there drinking. <laughs> and it'll be daddy doing the stuff and you know daddy right. saying hey you know he's kind of messy before he got with tiffany this this right. is karma right here you know that old player thing <laughs> yes and i thought the same exact thing with tiffany i said she's gonna be a hands-off mother and Derek's gonna be a hands-on father mm -hmm. so i thought that very clearly she don't want to be being a mom is messy and she is not trying to be messy so yeah and that's <laughs> interesting because of her character because mm -hmm. she's she came from that more she's more that uh natural uppity type woman and it's probably yeah. like if she could she'll probably be like hey let's get a nanny for this child exactly and i i, I kind of like it she's drinking she's just like yeah she you know everybody else holding the baby but mm -hmm. her and i'm like mm. Mm hmm. it's very clear that derek will be the parent of this child very clearly yes mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's some that's an interesting dynamic dynamic there. But what do you think mm -hmm. about Lawrence's little part? Because that was kind of interesting. We didn't see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call a condola. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This week, <laughs> you're not Condoleezza. No, not Condoleezza or somebody else called a condola. So I saw a condola. But she wasn't there. But before we even get to that, it's still it's still that vibe between Lawrence and Issa. Definitely. And Molly even looked out there and kind of picked up on that. Yeah. Now, I got a question. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there's a little vibe that Molly has an interest in Lawrence. No, I didn't get that at all. You got maybe that? not this one, but it's always like whenever they interacted, it was all like it, she's always like liked Lawrence and thought he was even when he was on the couch, like, oh no, nah, this is a good man and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm a oof, I'm gonna pass over a thought I was gonna say. I'll save that for off camera. So um <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not the vibe I got. I thought him and okay. his system had their vibe. And my question was, what did you think he was gonna say to her? That's important. Now, I was going to get to that next because mm -hmm. he was like, oh, yeah, about Condola. And it was like, you know, mm -hmm. that's one thing. She, did she, she didn't even bother contacting Nisa again. That's not good. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, you got this serious stuff. It's a month beforehand. And Condola, it really wasn't her thing. She was just helping Nisa, right? Right. Exactly. So, and then, you know, Lawrence had that thing, but then this thing come up, you know, mm -hmm. Issa's trying to find a headliner for this thing. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, wait a minute, he got something. Now, the way he was, what was, I mean, mm -hmm. the energy seemed to suggest he's going to say, oh, he ain't dealing with her anymore. That's the oh, okay. energy. Okay. And now, we don't know. It could be no. something different. They could have had mm -hmm. an argument, something. But then right. it's interesting, she ain't talking with uh, Issa either. Right. Yeah, so, she's taking a break. Taking a break probably from both of them. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see with that. But then if you think about it, okay, you think about Lawrence. Now, remember mm -hmm. in the first season mm -hmm. when Tasha, you know, because Lawrence is kind of serious about Condola, right? Right. He was looking at her seriously. Remember the first season, Tasha, Mm -hmm. was looking seriously at well first and second season he she was looking seriously at Lawrence yeah but Lawrence she was just something to do for Lawrence yes yes but it's like it really seemed like the tables turned now and Absolutely. he was put in a position where he mm -hmm. was something to do for her yeah because she said she just got a divorce and for her she wasn't ready for something serious 
So mm-hmm. it was the same thing with Lawrence when he broke up with Issa. He they were they were together for five years. Yeah. You know, he wasn't ready to be with another woman seriously. So he used mm-hmm. Tasha, but she was down like four flat tires. And he was like, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now Condola is is Lawrence. Cause he's like, okay, I want to get married. I want to have a baby. You know, you're the woman I want to be with. And she's like, no. Sorry. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, exactly. And that's an interesting thing. Cause when he was looking at little Simone, you know, right. that like advanced old baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I know it's TV, but no, but he was looking like he was like got had that look in his eye, like he did yeah, he ready to be a daddy and stuff. And you know, as we knew, you know, when we first saw Lawrence, he was like that, you know, that couch bum. Right. But now right. all of a sudden you say, no, he came from a steady family and stuff. And yeah, he did his little player phase, but now mm-hmm. he's like looking serious. Now he's seeing this baby, you right. know, right. you know, want to hold the baby more than Tiffany does. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody wants to hold the baby more than Tiffany does. <laughs> and I got to say this about Tiffany. She looked to be sensible until that. Now it's like, oh, she got a crack in the armor now. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, she's going to be that type of mom. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, Derek better like he better start paying for that. Uh, what's my call? She'll be daddy's girl. They, that's that's, yeah, you know, oh, when they oh. do insecure, like I don't know, <laughs> ten years from now after you know the series is over, they will have her older, probably have her at twenty or something. <laughs> like a soap <laughs> opera right. issue. Yeah, have, have the issue with it. Yeah, yeah, that soap opera thing. Yeah. Right. I remember my mother had told me like there was some baby born about the same time I was at a uh, uh, on a soap opera. And before I turned seven, the uh, kid was an adult. So you know how that goes. <laughs> I do. I love soap operas back in the day. Oh yes. I oh do. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's some crazy stuff. But then, you know what? Um, because I took the notes. Yes, you, you, you said you like I'm, I'm chilling. No, man, listen, y'all know Westworld went on to 1017. Y'all know that. <laughs> I was like, hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man, I got to go see the beginning of that joint. <laughs> <laughs> so but, I'll let you get to know. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It was interesting, like a real pivotal scene. And I think it really <laughs> hit Molly, especially when Issa <laughs> reached out. Because Issa, her headliner had uh, dropped out. So she right. had to try to get somebody else. Mm-hmm. And she's calling all these people. Then she reached out to Molly to talk mm-hmm. with Andrew. Uh, I, I believe they he represents or his firm represents some headliners or has something some like that. Yeah, yeah, and you know Molly got and Molly was like, "Mm-mm." Ned, that that really hit her then because it was like, okay, y'all hadn't talked, y'all established, y'all hadn't really talked, hadn't really hung out. There was already right. some tension building. Mm. And then you gonna call up but about some business thing, right? It's just like oh snap! And then you know when um, you know he said at the end called her up, say hey, did you say she said I ain't even mm. talk to him about it. I'm keeping that separate. Finally got a good relationship, you know. So she she ain't trying to mess it up now, mm-hmm. which you know is interesting. It was mm-hmm. like. Oh, okay. Because, you know, before Molly would have did that, but now she sees yeah. she got something that she ain't really had. She ain't like the side piece or dealing with some guys that she really wasn't compatible with. She right. got a guy who's really, really, he's really fighting to be with her. Yeah, yeah. He's like going out his way. So she's like, I ain't gonna mess this up. Now, mm-hmm. apparently, you know, you know, we look at next week, that she, she's gonna find a headliner and everything. Yeah. So they'll probably like get back in every, you know, get back on track and everything. It'd be like the day of the party or something. Yeah. And so, you know, but, you know, you just see the tension building. But, you know, overall for this episode, it was Mm -hmm. about that work and how it's affecting relationships. I mean, and not just the romantic relationship between Andrew and Molly, but Mm -hmm. like Issa and these other people, Issa and Molly. and. You know, and you don't know how it affected even um, her relationship with Condola. Because right. it's like Condola was helping her all of a sudden. She ain't returning the call. You ain't hear from her. And, you know, Lawrence would have to be the one to say something to her. That yeah. was, that, that's interesting. And, you know, just the overall theme of that work, especially a lot of women, particularly a lot of Black women, hmm. like 
they working hard. There's a lot of sisters out there working hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to the relationship, it's like difficult, mm -hmm. trouble. You right. Know, right. You might have to like look at some things. Mm -hmm. So that's the key thing there, I, I think. It was just like they had so much because like Issa just, you know, it was that water that was broken in her building and she trying to take a shower. It's just some brown stuff coming out. So <laughs> it's like, wow. So yeah. I mean, what are your overall thoughts? What would you give this episode? I would give this episode an 8.5. 8.5. Okay, 8.5. Not a 9.5. No, 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 no. No, last week had more energy, had more stuff going on. But the point of the episode was to show how the work was affecting, like you said, was affecting all of their relationships. And it was, it was, it was um, impacting their relationships in a negative way. Yes. That was the yes. thing you said it. And that's an important theme. And even though this was focused on the women, that could be for men too. Many mm -hmm. men have gotten in trouble because the women said, mm -hmm. hey, these guys were workaholics and stuff. Yeah. You know? And that's a that's a serious thing because yes, you want to make money, but you know, life itself is about having a balance. Right. You right. know, and it's something you have to learn. I mean, Workaholic mm -hmm. Rom had to learn that. So, you know, mm -hmm. you, you've mm -hmm. got to have a balance. You, it's, it, it's very important. Yes, you want to make that money, but that's the thing. And then, you know, just the other relationships are affected by that. You know, right. not just the romantic ones, but the friendships, you know, Issa and Molly, they having this thing and it's like, well, what's what's going on? What's, what's happening? And it's like... Mm -hmm. They so caught up in their other stuff. I mean, their friendship, regardless of what people think, they always there for each other. And that friendship, that's that's the key relationship in life. Like your friendship, your uh your spiritual family. That's the right. key right. one. So we'll see how that goes because now, you know, it'll probably come to a head next week. But you know, mm -hmm. since they still have some episodes, we mm -hmm. don't know how to end up. Right. We don't know right. how to end up. And just as an aside, uh, Mm -hmm. Insecure has been like renewed for season five. I saw that today. I saw that. Yes. So they ain't, you know, stuff still ain't over. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, no. one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah. Speaking of relationships, they sneaking him back in. Oh my, oh my God. We forgot about Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he calling up and stuff and she it was, was kind of like... <laughs> She was, she was kind of like uh, mm. neutral, but you know, there had to be some interest because it's interesting. And you know what? You know what? Let me just go on this tangent. Uh, okay, go ahead. Because you know how fans of the show, especially women, hate Lawrence. Yes. I mean, they hate that brother. And you know, because he, he was on the couch at first and then got himself together and then what? got all these different women and all of that. Well, but at least he got himself together doing stuff. Right. Women going crazy over Nathan. He's like, I hope he come back in. I said, he ain't had no job. Okay, He's since you brought a pretty boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So let me defend him because I actually remember a comment from last season that somebody made to us about Nathan. And mm -hmm. she said that she couldn't believe that we missed the mental health piece because he had survived Hurricane Harvey. Mm. And she was like, no, this dude suffered a trauma and that's what he's going through. He lost everything. Okay. And I'll never forget that comment because I was like, that was a really good point. So mm. I'm going to defend him a little bit. I, I was hard on him last season. But mm. when I read that, I didn't comment because I usually don't comment on other people's comments. But I did see it. And I said, let me remember that for next time. So he was going through a lot and he really okay. wasn't emotionally available for her. And he probably still isn't but he still cares about her clearly. Okay. He wouldn't have called her, or maybe he's just trying to get some, hell, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But the point is, he's on, she's on his mind. Mm -hmm. So we will okay. see where that goes. Yeah, those light eyes don't have anything to do with it, right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You know, if you look like, I don't know, Flavor Flav or something, they'd probably be like, girl, don't, don't mess with him. Y'all know that. But we ain't going to go there. That might be a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah, you done this. Okay, good. Yeah, you, okay, yeah, you had to turn that off just so <laughs> you see you laugh. I'm just saying, you know what I mean. I know what you say. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, he's fine, Rob. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all women call him sexy fun. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be breaking it. Down. Well, he had so much problems. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> you know what? That was a pretty good episode. But now we we'll probably get to see. Okay, what brings mm-hmm. us back? We gonna get back to the beginning, but then that's a story mm-hmm. element. You know, get back to why she said like this is over. Who mm-hmm. now? And now it becomes like okay, who's she mm-hmm. talking to? Mm-hmm. Is she talking to Lawrence when that stuff happens? Like her and Molly ain't cool no more? It might not be Condola. Like at first you were like, oh, is she talking to Condola? But now we'll figure it out. And then mm-hmm. whatever story question is after that, do they do they like reconcile? Mm-hmm. And you know, even though we said it's pushing mm-hmm. it, where mm-hmm. are Lawrence and Issa gonna be? True. Yeah. Well- and you know, while Derek taking care of the kids, what's Tiffany out doing? You know, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> okay. drinking. You know, yeah, she might, she she might be hollering <laughs> at that bougie pretty boy. Yeah, right. so, yeah, we know something going. And Kelly just a mess. She just down for whatever. So, whatever. and we ain't even gonna talk about uh, what's that? What's that child? Trina. She always. Oh, she was yeah, she, she was her right. son was hilarious. They gave him the best line in the show. How mm-hmm. old are you? <laughs> that was Heck great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, though, that's it. That's it, y'all. So this is pretty good. Thanks again for mm-hmm. you know reviewing it, and for everybody, we'll be, be we'll be back next week. So y'all know what's up. Mm-hmm. Peace and many blessings to y'all, y'all. Take care, y'all. Bye. Bye. Right.